I can already tell that this is going to be the worst video that I've ever made. Now, for today's episode of the reading series, I want to try out something a little different. And by that I mean something a bit more specific when it comes to posts. Instead of just looking at random Facebook posts, Twitter posts, or YouTube comments, instead, this time around, I want to look at a subreddit called Creepy Asterisks. Now, I'm sure that everyone knows what asterisks are, and if you're knowledgeable enough about them, then you're aware of the many cringeworthy, disturbing, and all around very dumb things that you can do with them. Things such as role-playing through text and not expecting people to not fucking like you for doing it. And I have many posts here on my laptop saved and ready to cringe at. This is gonna be awful. If you somehow end up dying by watching this video, then just know I'm not to blame. Blame Reddit for this. Did you know that Reddit is to blame for 80% of deaths worldwide yearly? I learned this from YouTube.org. Anyways, with that being said, I'm just gonna get into doing this and getting it out of the way as fast as I can because I'm not okay with this. Yo, holy shit, why are you waking me up at four in the morning? About the presentation, of course. Oh, that. Flicks, hips. So, what part are you doing? Bye. No. Don't leave. Don't do this asterisks and then it just cuts off. Now, I wouldn't just cut them off like that. I would go to this person's house and shoot him with a fucking gun. I, I think that's pretty reasonable, right? As a person that is the autistic gender, sorry, forgot the name of it. I think that everyone should know that we don't take bigots as prisoners and we punch you and slide needles in your urethra if of you disagree with us. What the fuck? Something wrong? You a bigot or something? I guess I am. Tackles you to the ground and starts punching you. That's what we do to bigots around here. Takes off your shoes and socks and starts tickling your bare feet. What the fuck? Ooh, look at that pee pee rise. You have a tickle fetish. Pulls out a needle and forces you down on the ground with one hand. Heh, <laughs> you like that? That's only half my power. Takes off your underwear and pants with one hand. This will only hurt a poor a little. Sticks the needle down your rock hard. Oh god. Start crying like a little bigot. Now get out before I actually try. What the fuck went through this person's head when typing this? If this is roleplay, then... Actually, let me rephrase this. This isn't fucking roleplay. This is just a threat. Why? What gives someone the right to fucking do this? I don't like this. I don't want to ever look at this ever again. This is just horrifying. So, um, lol. Twirls booty hair with my finger. What you doing? I'm sorry, did you just say booty hair? Shits my pants aggressively. OMG, so sorry. Are you okay? Blink twice if you're being held hostage. Eats my pants. Haha, ha, I'm fine. Kinky. Stares deeply into your eyes as I inhale your vaginal aroma. Ooh. Who the fuck says vaginal aroma? I don't fucking understand these people. In fact, I have this theory that none of these people are actual people. I think what they actually are, are uh, AIs that are being programmed to understand the human mind. And whoever programmed them, either purposely programmed them to do and say fucked up shit like this as experiments of sort, or either it was an experiment gone horribly wrong and they don't know how to stop it and they just gave up halfway through. I'm betting it's the latter of the two, because really I don't know how you could program an AI to ever do something like this. Now at this point, it's pretty safe to say that all these posts are gonna be completely random in terms of just how terrifying they are to read. Hey sweetie, sits down next to you, grinning. Would you stroke your lower lip with my thumb? Like to get some nice huge dick bleeds into you. I can give you anything you want. Spot my bulge and nod shyly. Good. I begin to kiss you while playing with your hair. Your turn. Come on. I know you want it. Presses my throbbing cock against you. You know, I've noticed a consistent theme with all these posts so far. They all seem to have to do with guys wanting to stick their cocks into girls' vaginas and then proceed to Inhale the vaginal aroma. Call me emo, and I'll cut you. It's not a threat, but a promise. Mm -hmm. If you want to chat, PM me. And don't be scared. I can smell your fear. <coughs> At that point, I don't think anyone is just not chatting. I think they've all just fucking blocked you forever. 
And by that I mean, uh, they threw their computers in the trash after looking at that message because nobody would ever want to read that garbage ever again for as long as they live. No, please don't disconnect. Just answer this question. Do you own a fedora? Does it feel good when I rub your pussy? Puts the fedora on you. Now that's a nice guy sort of tactic I have yet to see. Instead of putting on the fedora on himself and proceeding to tip it at the woman, instead, he proceeds to put it on her instead. I'll give points for creativity and uniqueness. Because that's really all you're gonna get in life. Hey. Hi. How you doing? Nuzzles against your shoulder. What the fuck? Aw, it's okay. I always tweet my swaves good. Who the hell is this? Yo, W New West friend. Put yourself against your boobs. I'm a guy, so... You know what, you little shit? I have a friend that can hack and expose your personal information, so fuck off! See, what's ironic is that this person is the one who's acting retarded, yet they're the ones telling this guy to fuck off when he tells him he's not a girl. Hey. Hi. What's up? Well, I should be honest with you just to let you know, I'm very dominant. Like, I'll put a leash and collar on you, bend you over on all fours with your ass in the air, punch my dick in that little pussy of yours, start pounding it from behind, pulling the leash choking you a bit, with it while I use my other hand grabbing your ass and teasing at your asshole. So anyone up for some foreplay? What are you doing? Ate some ice cream. Lol, nice. You're cold now. How does it taste? Dairy-free cinnamon bun ice cream. Super good. I can't have dairy. Aww. Holds your face in my hands and kisses your lips. Licks your tongue. Tastes nice. Whoops. What the fuck is whoops? I don't think so. My contract is US and UK. Get ready for some garbage crap cheeks. Spoiler, it might not even be a shoe. Fingers your belly. It's so nice and warm in here. <laughs> oh, Christ. Remove finger, senpai. Well, before I just had crippling depression but didn't want to die. But now I think I just want the sweet release of death. I will relieve your pain. Gently places down waifu body pillow and a. <laughs> On chef's, on sheath's katana, Lamau. I see your culture. Yeah, this one is definitely fucking ironic. This one is definitely meant to be a joke. I'm proud of the person who did this. Even the person who was originally creeped out realizes it. And you know what? These are the best ones because they're self-aware and not unironically fucking stupid and creepy. It's great. I want more of these. Please. Coming into your room as you sleep. I'm completely naked and rock hard. I quietly and gently climb onto your bed as you sleep on your stomach in just a t-shirt. No panties. Slapping my rod against your ass cheek. Dripping pre-cum on your ass before I grab and spread your cheeks. Slowly I push the head on into your slit, groaning lowly. Epic fail. Yeah, almost as much of a fail as this guy's entire life. Hello, it's me from Amino. I, I was wondering if you want to a roll play with me? I don't like role playing, sorry. Please. Tears roll down face. One chance, please. Guess I'll try. Wipes tear off face. Yay! Hugs. Uh, I don't know how to respond to that. Let's have some fun. I'd really rather not. You'll enjoy it, baby. I promise. <laughs> Slowly undresses you. Yeah, I'm not doing this. Why would you- why, why would this person even attempt to start in the first place? Why would you attempt to try at all? You're grounded, I say as I catch you sneaking in late, pushing you to the floor between my legs. I squat down, letting my pink lips devour you into my womb, carrying you to my room as- And then it just ends there. I guess that the genders have been flipped for this one. This person knows that this counts as rape, right? Smiles curls on your lap. I'm Dragon. Stick my tongue out playfully. Show you it long. Hee <laughs> hee. Pull you down on the bed softly. Snuggles you. So soft. Heh. <laughs> Wanna see how good my tongue and tail good for? Look at you as I smiles. Rip your clothes with my claw. I ex expose your breast and pussy suck on your breast. My tongue wrap my tongue around your nipples. Softly, my tail rubs your pussy. So, this person's tongue wraps around their tongue around a nipple? You are my son wife, and I am your pervert father-in-law. You came into my house for a week because my son is out of town. Ah, daughter kisses you. I am masturbating in dot my room. Lusting abut you, my daughter, in my bed. Play with my cock. The fuck? 
The fact that someone with an anime profile picture is responding to another person with an anime profile picture with the fuck shows just how low this person has really gone. You're cute. Um, thanks? Haha, <laughs> hops around you. Oh, so that's how it's gonna be, huh? All right, I'll play along. Stabs you with knife. Now that, that's the type of response I love seeing. Playing along and turning the whole role-playing concept on its head, then proceeding to fuck the person who was previously role-playing back with a little bit of role-playing of your own, but a hundred times funnier and not creepy. Probably my favorite one, and the one that makes me want to kill myself least. So, this is a good step in the right direction. Walks in your room from being out in the cold all night and sits on your floor, then stares at you while I'm shivering. Your parents will probably make me leave if they saw me in here. This is fucking creepy. This is just some stalker shit. How did this person even fucking get in? It, it, hey there. What the fuck are you doing? I was, um, wondering if maybe you would, uh, like to g go out on a date with me? Bless his heart and hides behind hands. No, I'm sorry. I've already got a boyfriend. Well, uh, courage growing. I, uh, think you could do better. I can do this. I can do this. I think you should give me a shot over that a a asshole. No, sorry, I'm pretty happy with him. And besides, I don't date creeps. Why do those guys think they have a shot with someone who's already in a relationship? I don't get that sort of thinking. If the person's already dating someone, then why the fuck are you trying to date that person? You both like Pokemon. Male. Hi. Female. What's your fave Pokemon game? Pulls out my huge cock. <laughs> Sun and moon. Yeah, that that's the best Pokemon game. Nice answer. H hi Hey, uh. So, um, blushes and looks away. I, I, er, I seen your profile and you seem like a really cute girl. And, um, mm, uh, excuse me, hon? You see, you seem like a g good mate. I, I'm a s submissive, submissive. Submissive Neko, I shyly grin as I wrap my tail around your leg. I, I want you to be my master, shyly hands collar. It, it's mating season. Tail. Wait, what is tail a correction for? All this needs to be corrected and fucking deleted from existence. Teleports into your stomach and throws up and cuts of my toes for your body to digest to then poop out. And then you eat the toe poop. Uh, I, I guess those definitely could have been worse. They definitely weren't as bad as I was expecting. Oh, uh, before I end the video, can't believe I'm doing this. Uh, some, some kid wouldn't fuck off and was spamming me in Twitter DMs. And I guess he really just wanted to be in a video. So, uh, yeah, he's gonna look at these messages. Or pictures, I guess. Uh, take it away. Knowledge. Whatever your name is. Then leave me the fuck alone, and never speak to me again. Please. The wolf walks up to you, and starts to sniff you. Suddenly a large wolf snout would find its way between your legs, as it sniffed you. The cannon's tail wagged faster as he sniffed you there. Wolf. Heart. Cat emoji. The wolf looks up at you with a rather lewd expression on his snout. As you are confused, he then goes back, trying to sniff your crotch. The wolf starts to paw at your leg. And then he sends this... Uh, uh, he, she or she, most likely she, sends uh, a picture of a black guy saying "sop," which is the right thing to do. But if you look at it correctly, it says "top," like she wants the top from the wolf. Hey. So you know, I, I'm, I'm I'm a pretty young guy, so I, I went through my little oh anime RP phase when I was like in, in third fourth grade, and you know I I I I had people do stuff like this to me, you know it's like oh I I went up to you when I fucking jerked you off, <laughs> yeah with the little asterisk by him, and you, you gotta ask stuff. What was going on through your head while you were typing that? Did you think I was just going to fucking play along with you? And the context of this meme, what do you think was going to happen? She would be like, oh wow, I grabbed the dog's head and I fucking shoved it inside my crotch. What reaction would you What reaction would you want? I like fairy tale the best, to be honest. Never seen that one. Hugs you. Eh, how about no? Hugs. Uh, please, sis. Just, just save yourself from embarrassment.
Oof, <laughs> rejected, my dude. You know, this really brings me back to a time when, when you know, a 20 year old DM me, oh, kawaii desu, I hug you, uh, didn't creep me out. In fact, that, w that was welcoming. I, that, that wasn't something I would tell my parents about, and my parents would take my phone away. And it's like, now that I'm like older, that, that shit is, is just pure gonorrhea to me. Teleports into your stomach and throws up and cuts off my toes for your body to digest them, then poop out, and then you eat the toe poop. Yes. A very, um, erotic, some would say. Very romantic. A little, uh, a bit of that little horrorcore touch into it. I like it. You know, I, I like to relate these jokes to my life somehow, to make it more funnier. But, you know, my life isn't that fucking weird for me to relate that to it. Now, um, thanks for having me. Uh, Nala Trubby, We Would Rain, whatever my name is, uh... Now, like I already said, I'm sure there's plenty of worse ones out there, but those were definitely bad enough to suck the life out of me. And now all I want to do is just go and cry myself to sleep. But yeah, uh, that was the video. Please like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notification bell so that you actually get videos in your sub box. And that's it. Uh, goodbye. And peace. Yeah.